The confusion and danger on the battlefield is only intensified when our troops can't get the information they need when they need it. There's been a perennial shortage of communications capabilities on the battlefield and for command and control purposes back to supporting headquarters. Right now they're relying on a very limited capability called UHF satellite communications or UHF SATCOM as it's called. It provides nets, but it's in short supply. Convoys delivering supplies in Iraq and patrols on the ground clearly illustrate the limitations of non-netted communications for command and control. When faced with a hostile situation that requires them to change their route, they need to make calls vehicle to vehicle or person to person. Like we all know from the kids game of telephone, the information that the people down the line get is often very different from the original message resulting in delayed delivery, mission compromise, and possible casualties. Netted Iridium is a proven solution that is available now. The transmission is managed from the user on the ground to the satellite, and the satellite sa software has been modified such that the transmission is then rebroadcasted back down in the area of interest for the particular user community. Netted Iridium is based on the proven infrastructure that includes a constellation with 66 low Earth orbiting cross-link satellites. Covering every spot on the globe, Iridium delivers essential communication services to and from remote areas where no other form of reliable communication is available. First responders in disaster situations will also be able to rely on Netted Iridium. The ability of Netted communications uh, and for first responders to use this kind of feature and push to talk really gives them an amazing advantage to be able to have people speaking on a local, regional, national, and even potentially an international basis in order to deploy resources, in order to save people's lives, and in order for everybody to be on the same page. Understanding the challenges faced by the military and the first responder community is the first step in developing a tool and a technology that will solve their most pressing needs. Whether you're on patrol uh, through the streets of Baghdad or uh, whether you were part of the response recovery effort in Katrina, uh, the notion that a couple people in the field that have critical information could disseminate that information to multiple parties at the same time uh, is absolutely essential uh, to the uh, safety as well as the survival of the, either the soldiers in combat or those responsible for rescuing others at time of crisis.